Howdy guys, another day on Intrip Farms. Here's our new sprayer. We're gonna see if we can run it today. And uh, there's our planner. We're getting ready to go full swing farming. So stay tuned. So we're a little late to it, but we are cleaning out the planter, sort of. There's not a lot, just a little bit of seed down in here. Needs to be cleaned out of these bins. Just old corn seed. And um, so we're just cleaning this out, getting ready for, we might go plant today, if we can get out there. But, um, so I've got, I've got um, halfway pretty much. And this one over is a 12 row planter. So we have 12 seed boxes, as you can see here. The yellow boxes are our seed boxes. And uh, it's pretty simple. But it's also really complex how it works. So your seed goes in these bins here, as you can see, and then uh, then it drops down through here. I'll uh, I'll have to I'll open one of these up and be able to show you a little better. But there's seed discs in there, and this is ran off of a vacuum, and so the vacuum holds the seed in and takes it down and drops it into the ground. And down low, there's these, there's openers that open up a little furrow, and then the seed falls down, and then there's closers that close it down. And then in the middle, there's gauge wheels that pack the, the seed down in there good. So I'm not the best at explaining it, but uh, that's the best I can do, I think, so. We're getting ready for corn planting, so we gotta clean all the corn out of this. I don't know why there's still corn in it. We didn't get it cleaned out good last year, but, we're uh, trying to get it ready, so we should go planting soon. As soon as I get this cleaned out, we'll be spraying as soon as um, as soon as my uncle gets back with the chemical. As soon as Jeff gets back with the chemical, we'll be able to we'll get our uh, spraying trailer set up. You ready to go? We're a little late to it this year, but so we just just picked up our brand new sprayer, as you saw. Well, not brand new, but brand new to us sprayer, as you saw at the beginning of this video. So. Yeah, should be pretty good, and uh, stay tuned, I'll be, oh, I'll uh, take one of these apart real quick and, and show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so this is the vacuum line here. It goes up to this big black tube. It goes across to all of these. And so then it comes down here, this holds the vacuum. This is the seed plates. This twists on and holds it, but I haven't twisted it already. And so then you can see each little little spot a seed corn seed it'll drop into and it'll get you know, it that way but then it'll just suction in there and hold until it gets around and drops down in that hole right there you can see that and that drops down so those blades up there is what opens up the furrow drops right down in between these um, Try to find the best way to describe it. Drops down in between these gauge wheels, what they're called, and uh, and then this is what closes the furrow. So pretty simple, pretty complex at the same time. So there's still corn in here. Just using the vacuum, just suck all the seed in there, and then we'll dump out the seed into a tote or something later. But we got this one and the next five to do. So a little over halfway done. And then uh, we should be good to get ready to go plant more. All right, so I just got down here to one of our fields. We're gonna check and see how wet the ground is. But first, I just wanted to show you guys how absolutely huge these windmills look from underneath them. I don't even know if the camera does it justice, but they are giant. These windmills are gigantic. So we just want to come out here and see if this ground is ready to be worked. Which we want to make sure we don't get stuck, but it really looks pretty good. It doesn't look too wet, so that's really what we're looking for here. We're gonna check a couple other spots. That's a pond right there, so behind the pond will probably be too wet, but it's worth checking. Go over there, look. We're about ready to start planting. We are trying to find some ground that'll 
go pretty soon. Everybody, uh, all the neighbors are out planting today, so we better hit it. All right, so here's more of what I was talking about. I'm just gonna try to get the wheat back away from the ground here. This is well, weed movement, not good weeds. But see over here is a little more wet, a little more wet, a lot more moisture here in the ground. And over is another spot we checked. So this ground's a little sticky here. But I do think it would still go. Now over there, way back behind the pond, probably be too wet, but we can check it and then we're gonna check it on the fence ground. Well, we're ending the day off today. Biscuit ground. It, uh, this field was good to go. Like you guys saw me checking this field earlier. Like two seconds is what I'm now. But this field's good to go. I'm disking it right now. We call it a day soon. It's about 6 30. So uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. We're celebrating this year tomorrow, but we'll still be working. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning probably. Seconds for you guys, but it'll be about uh, like 10 hours. From me, so. See ya! Well, this is day two. We're going to get ready to disc a little more. But first, well, right here. Check the oil. Tractor. Yep, that's good. Everything looks fine. Then, pop that door open. Climb all on the end. Let it warm up for a minute. Let it warm up for a second, and then we'll get to it. Alright, so we're working out here. We're working pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty good, pretty decent. So, all this is really doing is just flipping the dirt over on its side, uh, like kind of side over on top of itself. And uh, it does a pretty good job. We do not have auto steer on this tractor, so. Automatically, we only have auto steer in our plant tractor and our new sprayer has auto steer. So now we have two machines with auto steer. Um, this is a big field, it's about 80 acres, and we got quite a ways to go still. There's the other side of the wind. So we uh, were stopping for a minute because kind of ran into a small issue here. The, uh, as you can see, these have a little wobble to them. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. That disc is not supposed to be able to spin freely. And uh, those there, not supposed to spin freely. Like this here, it's supposed to spin the whole thing. But, so they're a little wore out, <laughs> the axle, because there's a big pin that runs all the way through all those disc blades, which is called a gang, it's a disc gang. And so it's, uh, it's like a square tube. And then, so those disc blades have kind of, they've wore out that, that axle and uh, you're not supposed to be able to do that. So that's a problem there. It's all wore out, so we're gonna have to fix that. We'll figure out what's wrong with the time up. So yeah, we're uh, done disking here for for now. I'm gonna go over. We got the sprayer ready to go. We had to replumb a uh, sight gauge because it was broken for some reason. And then, um, but now it's ready to go. So I'm heading in. It's 12:06. So. I'm gonna head on into the farm, back to the shop, and we're gonna have to come back and look about this, look at this later. So we'll see what next adventure we get ourselves into. All right.
Alright, so we're in the new sprayer. It's been a very interesting past couple days because yesterday we pretty much spent almost all day messing with this thing, trying to figure it out. And we could not figure this thing out, but I think we just now figured it out. So, we got our auto steer uh, screen here. This runs all the steering. It also runs the rate, like the spray rate. And then this runs all your sections. There's six sections. You can flip off each individual section on the boom. And then you got like all your boom controls here and some other things. Here's your joystick to drive. We just finally got it all set up. I think we're gonna go use it. We're gonna go take it back to the farm and we're gonna fill it there because it'll just be easiest to do that way and then take it back here. So we finally got it figured out. That was a uh, big waste of yesterday, but it, it's all right. We needed to figure it out one way or another. So we're going to uh, see what we can get sprayed with this today. This field really shouldn't take us all that long. We can spray it 12 mile an hour, but we can spray it 14 mile an hour, but we'll spray it 12, about 12 mile an hour. Get the right rate. Yeah, it would take some we saw it only take us 15, 20 minutes to do this field because this tank holds 750 gallons of water. Well, it's about 730 gallons of water plus whatever chemicals you add in. So we're adding in like 15 gallons of our chemicals. I don't remember what all the names are, but you'll uh, hopefully I'll see you spraying here in a minute. Okay, here we are. We're spraying. It's going pretty good. So you can see the green. I know it's going to be all because it's a weird camera, can't really uh, record a screen. The green is where I've already sprayed, the red is where I don't have enough free. Now it's back to green. Now we're spraying there and over here. We've got over here to do yet, over on this side. We've already done over here. We did that big patch over there just trying to figure it out. It's working pretty good. I'm gonna just barely have enough chemical to finish this whole field. I need to set this down so I can turn around, so. All right, so I finished this whole half down here and all that over there. Now we gotta go up here behind this pond. We're gonna spray all that. I think I have enough chemical, but it might not. The only problem we're having is this seat is, uh, it's air ride, but it's broken. The air keeps seeping off, so I'm sitting on the floor every five minutes. And they were gonna fix it, but it's gonna be three weeks for a new seat to come in, so. We just went ahead and took it, and it'll air up, it'll just be a little bit, then it'll go down. So, come up here and spray this. We already did it over there, and all this. Pretty much everything behind us now has been sprayed. All these weeds and everything will be dying pretty soon, hopefully. Maybe it's just pouring out clean water out of our rinse tank, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's working right. So these are all of our boom controls. This is how you unfold it all over here. Once you get up here, it's a little better. It's a little bumpy over here. This thing does ride very well though. So all this spot over here that seems to be, slow down a little. All this spot over here that's all tan needs to be sprayed yet. So I'm gonna set up a new AB line, which just makes it a new auto steel line. I'm gonna go straight across this. Actually, I might just spray it this way. That might be just, just as easy. This thing has been doing very well through the mud. It is pretty muddy out still, so I was quite surprised. It has been doing as good as it has through the mud because it's only two wheel drive, so that was pretty surprising. I need to set this down so I can actually do this right. Yeah, I think you guys get the, the point. This all has to be sprayed. Everything else has been, and uh, it's working pretty good. So you can hear my seat pumping up. All right, so we got the booms all folded up. I should have shown it to you, but it's a little easier to not. So now we're ready to take it down the road, back to the shop. And we're gonna fill it up again, maybe. I don't know, we don't really have enough chemicals, but we might be able to uh, be able to have enough to do our 30 acres that are just right down the road here. So we're gonna take it back and see if we can fill this thing back up again. So here's our setup, we're filling up. We got a pump right here. A big bulk water tank holds 1,400 gallons. And our chemicals down there. It all comes up into this tank here. All right, so it is agitating right now, is what it's called. So the pump is just recirculating it, helping it mix it into the water a little better. As you can see, it's not like the healthiest thing to breathe in, or you don't want that to get on your body. 
any sense at all. So try not to inhale it. Try not to uh, get it on your body. So we're putting in Roundup and Dicamba. Dicamba is illegal after June or July something because it can kill other people's crops all night. So it's it's illegal after a certain, a certain month, but we're good to go right now. So yeah, we're just filling this and then we'll head on the field. Okay, so we're here in the next field. We got filled up enough to do 40 acres. So this is nine acres and we got another 30, maybe one at the other place. So to unfold, you gotta lift the entire thing up and then this controls the right boom, this controls the left boom. So you just hold those up and then lift some out of their cradle. See that red piece there. And then then on both sides, I'm just showing this one. So over here, left fold out, right fold out, hold those down, and then we'll unfold. Yes, I'm very aware there's a power line there, and I'm plenty far away from it. And uh, you never want to unfold by a power line because, well, you'll end up burning your piece of equipment down the ground. So I'm gonna lower these down and then we'll hit the tips out so they go up and over try to get the boom level before you get going you know so that one will go down a little more so on this side right tip oh wait, left tip out so now that's set and then we're just going to lower down the entire thing the ways. So this field is only 9 acres. This is usually used for our plot to compare seeds or whatever. Whatever you want to do. You can compare varieties and whatnot. So uh, as you can see it's mainly just grass and weeds and whatnot. So we're just going to go ahead and spray it. I'm going to get set up and get going and then uh, I might see you whenever I'm made it that far. All right, so I was disking ground here today again. I've got, uh, got all the way over that tree line right there. That tree line there. And up to here. So we're getting, getting some good coverage here. But I just had the big issue. This just broke the frame. The piece just broke off here. Now, this snapped right out of the frame. That's what pushes the wheels down to lift up this out of the ground. So you can turn around. As I was turning around, you can see I cut through the ruts around. It's, it just snapped off. So we're gonna have to get that fixed before we can disc anymore. Because that's not real convenient. And uh, yeah, what do you do? So, stay tuned, see what we do. We might just bring the welder over here and weld it back on. It might be the best way to do it, but I think that's the only way to do it, really. But, uh, yeah, let's see how we do it here. Uh, make sure it's 